What's up guys, it's your girl Denise. And we're here with another makeup tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you my everyday makeup look, but we're gonna add a little twist. And we're gonna try the Mary Phillips technique on camera. I'm gonna walk you through how I do it. And also we're gonna do a little chit chat about this full moon in Leo that's approaching. <laughs> the energies that we've been feeling or I've been feeling. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. <laughs> We prepped our face before we started and we're just gonna go straight in with the Fenty Beauty contour stick. I honestly like the technique of contouring and highlighting before your foundation just because I feel like it gives it more of a natural vibe. And I don't know if I'm into the like feeling of all that makeup on your face anymore. So we're gonna try this out, but I do know that they go a little heavy hands with the contour so it can actually show over the foundation. So we're just gonna try this out. Guys, I am gonna post another video about the new moon and everything that was going on, but we are approaching the full moon in a few days. Post that video after this one, but I know you guys can keep up. This full moon is gonna be in Leo. Okay, first, before I go into all that, let me just say this. Leo and that sign is normally related obviously to the lion which is their zodiac representation the lion is normally representing the sun and the sun normally represents the father and when you look at energy the father the sun it's normally focused on 3d energy which is the physical world and what's going on in our physical life and I don't know about you, but that's been like the main focus within these last few weeks. And the energies have just been feeling very dense because we can look around into our 3D reality and things don't seem the way we expect them to yet. I feel like we haven't seen the full fruits of our labor yet because we are still in the time where they're still growing and preparing themselves to actually come into fruition. I feel like during this Leo full moon, we are very much acknowledging that things haven't manifested yet into our 3D world. And that can sometimes feel a little discouraging. I don't know about you, but that's how I'm feeling where it's like, oh, I know I'm working so hard. I know I'm doing all these things and things just don't seem like they've yet to manifest but we know they're on their way because we see the signs all the time we see the synchronizations we're catching the numerology we're connecting every day we're meditating we're doing everything we need to be doing and i feel like right now with the leo full moon that's approaching i feel like the main focus is keep going don't give up keep planting those seeds of good intention and moving in love because it will manifest. It has no other choice but to, is the way that I started looking at life, where it's like, I know good things are coming. That's how I started looking at my 3D reality, is very much being delusional a little bit and focusing on my desire because we must ground in the knowing that things are happening for us. Shar, which is someone I know I've previously spoken about on this channel, he teaches very much on the theory that circumstances don't matter. State of being matters. But think about it this way, matter in the way of coming into physical form, that kind of matter. But I did deepen the contour with my Too Faced born this way just because we're gonna go over it with foundation and i want to make sure you can still see that contoured chiseled kind of vibe now we're gonna go in with the Too faced concealer and conceal the areas you see fit according to your face shape so bashar which i'm sure someone i know i've spoken to you guys about previously on the channel he very much teaches on focusing on your state of being rather than the circumstance that's playing out in your 3D world. If it's not a circumstance that genuinely makes you feel happy and stay on the vibration of love and joy, your state of being creates your physical world. So focusing on keeping your state of being at a high frequency is apparently what genuinely 
creates the desired reality. We have to learn to shift our attention to what we actually enjoy because your frequency is what's gonna manifest. And it's not an easy practice. It is something that I'm still learning to master because of course, like how are we gonna look around and see things we're not enjoying and just focus on the vision we see in our mind's eye when we're living something that's so opposite, I get it. But there is a way to ground in the present moment and do the things that you know are bringing you joy to help balance you out and then keep that frequency, which is the challenge, so that you can get through whatever circumstance you're going through that isn't making you feel the best. So now we've finished contouring and highlighting our face prior to the foundation. So we're gonna go in with foundation, very light hand, and see what we get. Today we're gonna use the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. I wish I had like a fluffier brush because I know that the fluffy brush I think is the secret. We're gonna just use this Real Techniques foundation brush because I feel like this is the only brush I have that gives me a very airbrush light hand. I usually start in my jawline and work my way up my face. But anyways, like I said, it's not an easy practice. It's a daily discipline to genuinely focus on what's making you feel good and really living a little delusional. If you're experiencing something in your 3D world that's not genuinely making you feel happy because the awareness that that frequency is what's gonna manifest into your 3D world matters. <laughs> and I understand that things happen in life every day that can lower our frequency, but it's our job to maintain that awareness and just practice aligning back to our desired emotion. You know what I'm saying? For me, some of the things that I do to achieve that is stay extremely disciplined with my spiritual practices or spiritual hobbies or just hobbies that I know raise my frequency because they're things that I enjoy doing and love doing. We can find different ways to raise our frequency. This is a quick tip. If you're trying to raise your frequency immediately, like in the moment you know you're experiencing something that's making you feel negative in a way, gratitude. Gratitude is the quickest emotion that shifts your frequency to a higher frequency and it's easier for you to hold that once you've switched into it. And that's helped me. So maybe that's a quick little tip. Just switch into gratitude, look around, be grateful to be alive. Like even just breathing is something to be grateful for. I think we're pretty done with our foundation. Now we're just gonna set with our powders, put on our blush, define our eyes and lips a little bit more. And then we're gonna get the final product for this Mary Phillips makeup technique. I love that we're starting the year with some new and improved. We're gonna go in with the NARS Rush blush. It's like a cream blush. It looks like this. I just put some on my finger and then dab it on. Try to do the same motion you would do with a beauty blender, just using your finger. But yeah, guys, I think that the Leo full moon is definitely heightening our 3D reality on purpose to see if we can, one, stay in faith, believe that everything's happening for us and not to us, as well as create and be proactive in whatever way you feel benefits whatever desires you're trying to manifest into your life in this moment. I think Leo is also a very good example of taking action and being proactive. I try to remind myself that if your intentions have been in the right place throughout this time, the best is yet to come. That's the law of karma. And there is cause and effect on earth. What goes up must come down. And there's no way to get around that. So as long as your intentions have been in the right place, I believe that you can trust that good things are coming to you, even if your 3D world doesn't necessarily confirm that yet. Yet is a key word. Now we're just going to set everything. I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just dabbing in with like a little powder puff 
that powder into my skin to just set everything and then we're gonna go in and bake a little bit just because that's what I like to do once I'm like done with all the creams I'm just gonna go over the contour really quick with a little bit of bronzer I don't know if Mary does this but that's what I'm gonna do because I just love this step and I don't think I can ever skip out on a bronzer don't forget the principles that we've been talking about also where it comes to like reminding yourself that good things are meant to happen to you and any adversity or challenge that you're facing is on purpose because it's the only way to help you grow and the one thing that remains constant on earth is energy and change also reminding myself that if my intention has been in the right place, any adversity I might be facing is on purpose. The purpose that I need to be following to do on earth what I came here to do. I just like going in with a little bit of that powdered contour on my eyes always to bring back all that definition. And bring it down our nose just to contour that nose a bit. We're gonna set the blush before we bake a little bit. Okay, and next we're gonna bake. I have to do that off camera because this powder just loves getting in everywhere. We're not gonna let it bake for too long. We're gonna go in with any foundation powder you might have. I'm using the NYX Stay Matte. And then that's how we wipe it off. We load the brush and we wipe off that bake. Move around the excess around our face. I'm gonna quickly do the brows and lashes off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so we've done our brows and lashes off camera. I wiped off my lips. We're gonna go in with my favorite lip duo. It's the MAC Cork and LA Girl Cafe. First go in with Cork and then cafe show you guys how i do it on camera cork is a very brown moment which i'm not mad at but i do like more nude which is why i go over it with the la girl cafe Like you saw, I like to go over the line and then blend it down to cover my full lips. Really blend that out. <laughs> and even sometimes when I want it to be more of a nude, peachy tone, I like to go over it with the NYX Soft Matte in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> We're gonna take off the excess on the back of our hand. I think the look is basically done. I feel like my hair is getting messier by the minute. This is the Mary Phillips technique with a little twist because I did want to show you guys my current everyday look that I do when I'm running errands, when I'm just going out for lunch or working. This is usually the look that I would go for. So adapting the Mary Phillips technique, I like it honestly. I feel like it makes it look more natural, like I said prior. I'm not mad at it. I definitely see why the girlies are obsessed over there on TikTok. I hope you guys learned something in this video with how to do the Mary Phillips technique. I hope you enjoyed my little chit chat about the full moon in Leo, which is happening on the 5th, I believe. And this is definitely gonna be up before that. Like I said, stay grounded, guys. Whatever you can do to keep yourselves in a high vibe and just happy. Again, I revert to my normal hobbies or just being around good people, eating good food. Like that's some of the things that I know right away raise your frequency and gratitude. Don't forget, just be grateful for anything and everything. And that right away will shift you into a more joyful emotion if what you're currently experiencing isn't the best or making you feel the best. And remember, circumstances don't matter. State of being matters. So whatever you're going through, I promise 
you're gonna get through and the best is yet to come i'm your girl denise i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i post new videos every week see you here next time bye <laughs>